Although most of us have a soft spot in our hearts for vintage and veteran cars, it can't be denied that there's a certain smugness in our attitude when we compare some of these noisy and rather messy old contraptions with the smooth running cars of today. But one old car that certainly defies the general description is the 1912 Baker, because this model was an electric brawn and noiseless. However, we are not so much concerned with the merits of the veteran car as with, on this occasion, its source of power, the sun. For this is the world's first solar car, powered by a 10,000 cell panel on the roof, brought over from the United States by scientist and pioneer in this sphere, Dr. Charles Escoffery, to illustrate the potential of solar energy. The silicon cells convert heat into electric power, which is then stored in the car's batteries, and with the present roof panel, it takes between eight and 10 hours of sunlight to provide enough power for an hour's driving at 20 miles an hour. Solar cars, of course, are not yet commercially practicable, but what is important is that this vehicle uses the same type of solar cells already used in space satellites. This model train set is another illustration of their adaptability. Notice that a man's shadow falling across the cells, blocking out the sun, is enough to stop the train. It's a significant point that every day as much energy falls on the Earth from the sun as has been used in the whole history of our civilization. And remember, eventually, the Earth's natural resources for power, coal, oil, and uranium for atomic energy will be exhausted. Meanwhile, the scientists gain useful knowledge from gadgets like this walkie-talkie. Unfortunately, in Britain, we have one big handicap. No sun.